today we're going to be having a little look at a video, part of a video by Irate Bear. Now I'm not responding to Irate Bear, but something he says is relevant to the topic and article we're going to be covering. It concerns a series of events around a town called Rotherham. Now in the United Kingdom, this is well known, and the only thing famous to come from Rotherham apart from this are the Chuckle Brothers. Yes. So take it away, Irate Bear. So it's becoming increasingly difficult to have any kind of patriotism or love for my country. In previous videos, I've shown how British police official Twitter accounts were literally making threats against people for criticising them for pursuing so-called criminals who are in fact normal, hard-working, tax-paying individuals for naughty words on the fucking internet. Today, I saw the police constabulary responsible for doing fuck all about the mass grooming and rape of 1,400 girls in Rotherham tweet this shit out. Once again, I find myself in a position where my blood boils because our fucking police force is more concerned about people expressing their genuine grievances on Facebook and Twitter than they are of catching actual crime committing cunt bags on the street. Thank you to Irate Bear for allowing me to feature this. Go subscribe to him. Now the relevance of that is that it leads directly onto two politicians, one of whom lost her job and the other has yet to face consequences although has in the past for, well, hmm, being somewhat anti-Semitic. The first of the two MPs was Sarah Champion of the Labour Party who said that there was a distinct problem in the United Kingdom for Pakistani men to groom white girls. She then resigned from her post as Women and Equality's Shadow Minister. Many believe she was forced out of that, and it wasn't long afterwards Corbyn had given an interview where he discussed this, although he did his very best at avoiding the issue, and I'm going to play a little clip of that now. Do you not think there's and a I think particular there's some... problem, problem with Pakistani men because we've seen in Rochdale, in Rotherham, in Newcastle and Oxford, that's been the problem. The problem is the crime that's committed against women from any community. Much crime is committed by white people, crime is committed by people of other communities as well. I think it is wrong to designate an entire community as the problem. What I think is right is to deal with the problem of the safety and security and vulnerability of often young women who can be groomed by all kinds of people into some awful and dangerous situations. While Jeremy Corbyn's answer does seem well structured, there are two obvious problems. The first one is that he has singled out white people as not only a race but also a community in this country. They are indeed a race, not a community. There may be communities in the country that are white, but I promise you they're not united. And yes, they do commit crimes. Of course they do. There are known sex grooming gangs that are white, but the most well-known ones that went unchallenged for a very long time were committed by Pakistani men, which if anything proves the second problem of integration. Integration in this country is something that one could argue has failed, because the very fact communities have been created inside larger communities stands as proof of that. Sarah Champion was stating an obvious fact, and for it, she lost her shadow cabinet job. Now, I doubt she'd have gotten any further with that job with Jeremy Corbyn as the leader. He's not going to be prime minister as much as he thinks he is prime minister in waiting. The second problem with what he had said was that he didn't actually address the answer. He just stated that all other communities commit crimes. This is a very annoying little tactic to not address the real concern. He simply pointed out that women are the victims. There are some boys that do get groomed, by the way. But that aside, you didn't answer the damn question. Which is a shame, really, because it's not hard to explain that the constabulary were feckless. They were unable to do their job because they were scared of being labelled Islamophobic, racist, even though, as we know, Islam is not a damn race. Now, all of this leads on nicely to one of your ministers, Naz Shah, the lovely lady who put this on Facebook. That's right. Let's move Israel to America. That'll solve all the problems in the Middle East. You are a genius. You deserved that suspension. So now let's skip ahead. Let's move away from the intolerance of the past, no matter how many times Jeremy Corbyn will stand up in PMQs and unironically declare what this country needs is more tolerance. To Naz Shah on Twitter, liking and retweeting before being called out on this and deleting her like and retweet, or unliking and unretweeting, I guess. 
the tweet of exactly a reek. Those abused girls in Rotherham and elsewhere just need to shut their mouths for the good of hashtag diversity. Now I don't know about any of you, but I personally think those who were harmed during those attacks in Rotherham, all those grooming incidents, all of them, should be as vocal as they want to be. Shame those people who for so long abused them. People who are serving whole life sentences for what they did. We should never stop talking about it. It should be a blinding beacon to stop people from making those same mistakes because there are consequences within our society. It's like the recent spate of people removing statues. Their desire to bury history or erase it opens us up to making the same mistakes. If we as a society stop talking about things like this, people are going to start to think they can get away with it again. And let's not forget, one of the main reasons they got away with it for as long as they did was because the police were so cowardly, so damn cowardly, that they believed being labelled Islamophobic or racist was a good enough reason not to investigate any calls, any claims, any rumours. They refused to do their job out of fear of a label, you disgusting people. And Naz Shah, this is one of many times you've been caught out. You should stand down as an MP. Stop pandering to your constituents, who clearly hold such hateful ideas. You're an embarrassment to the Labour Party, a party that is supposed to represent the working people, but if anything has fallen so far to the left, it no longer represents the people that vote for it, but it instead represents the middle class who feel nothing but white guilt, oh, and supposedly to represent all the poor, defenceless minorities that we must protect for the sake of diversity. There is no reason I can think of that one should protect for the sake of diversity when a crime has been committed. A heinous crime has been committed. All of this reminds me of those incidents in Germany where, quote, refugees and migrants were coming into the country, you know, the ones that came from the heavily under attack Morocco or other African nations under the guise of being refugees from Syria, not like the ones that were supposedly children but actually looked like they were in their late thirties, people being shamed into silence because they're white so they have privilege, that these poor, poor refugees that have better quality of living and nationals who would have their homes taken away from them have. Never stop talking about the truly heinous crimes committed by anyone, no matter what their race, no matter what their religion, no matter what their sexuality or gender or political leaning. Everyone should be held accountable for what they do. And if something is being committed by one particular community, it doesn't mean the entire community of the country should be held accountable, but the community in that area is going to be under a lot more scrutiny than it ordinarily would be, until all the crimes have been investigated and those who have committed those crimes are inside a prison cell until the day they die. Thank you all for listening. Hello everyone, I thought I'd take the opportunity to promote a couple of things, so feel free to leave now if you're not interested in me shilling myself. Fantastic. Firstly, I'd like to quickly shill my VidMe channel. I've had it for a few months and I usually upload videos there a day before I upload them to YouTube. 
I would also like to take the opportunity to promote my gab.ai thing. I'm new to it. I'm figuring it out. Finally, I made a new t-shirt on Teespring. I decided to go with the Cookie Thulu nickname because I'm quite fond of it. And I want all your shackles. Yes. I think that was everything. Hmm. Yep, that's it.